today we're learning the bow tie, also known as the L cases for CLL. Yep, I'm back to this series. I know I did it way back in July 2012, but I'm getting a bunch of views on it, and somebody requested to do this L case, so or the bow tie case, whatever you want to call it. So today we're gonna teach you exactly that. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. This is what the L case looks like. If you didn't know, you got these two here. If you have these two here, it's definitely it. This is your starting position, so to say, I guess. Right here. These two right here and these two here because um, the majority of the cases start like that, I believe. So grab your 2x2 two two right now. And if you haven't learned my other CLL cases, because they're really fun and they will help you with 2x2 two two, and I guarantee... The next competition that you go to that is not like, you know, Worlds or Nationals or something, you will podium in 2x2 two two. as long as you just practice um, with CLO. For sure, you'll podium and do it. Yeah. Anyway, there are six different cases as usual. And the way you recognize them is by looking at these three colors. This one, this one, and this one. So, again, your starting positions were here with this here and this here. But... If you just want to know it's the L case, you can already know when you're right here that it's the L case. I mean, you just have to position it right here. So anyway, this is the first case. It's super easy to recognize. First, you see these colors are opposite, okay? And these colors, these two, are the same. So opposite here and same here. This is a simple case that you probably already know from 3x3. F, R prime. F prime, R, U, R, U prime, R prime. And you get the whole last layer. I mean, obviously, sometimes you get AUF, so whatever. All right, and I'll just explain that algorithm if you want. Um, what you're doing is F, you're bringing that block up. Then R prime, you're bringing this up. F prime, R. So now, basically, what happens from doing that? You can think of it as the backwards of sledgehammer, F, R prime, F prime, R. This piece gets taken out. And then you insert it kind of like you're inserting a pair on 3x3 that looks like this. You know, you just have this right here and you have to insert it like that. And that's the same thing here. Or you can think of it as the backwards of sexy move. So all it really is is the backwards of sledgehammer and backwards of sexy move. This is another case. Um, you probably already know it. If you've ever done um, a Y perm, you already know this case for sure. It's... You recognize it, these two colors right here and here are opposite, and these two colors are different. I mean, you don't have to recognize if they're adjacent or whatever, because, I mean, if they're different, it's for sure this case. So what you do is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. I don't really need to explain that algorithm, but I guess I will. You bring this block up and then put this piece right in here with R U prime R prime. And then you do a U prime and then you put this piece right back in here. R U R prime. And then bring the block back. And then of course there's sometimes a Y. Now we're gonna move on to the not so easy cases, so to speak, but you'll memorize them, but chances are you have not memorized them before because they're not in like any three by three algorithms. Or anything so this one you recognize these two are the same and these two are um, opposite okay so these two are the same these two are the opposite as you can see orange orange and then orange and red there are opposite R U2 R prime U prime Y prime R2 U prime R prime U R2 so again, I'll explain it this time. R, track this piece, U2, R prime. That gets that piece in the back. Now bring it here, U prime. And then you're going to rotate. And you kind of want to rotate while doing the U prime, I guess. And then you do R2, U prime, R prime. And that gets this block here. And then U, R2, just to put it back in. All right, so this is the next case. It's same adjacent. As you can see, because red and green are adjacent, you're going to have to know your color scheme if you're doing this. And all you have to do is a U to start off, 
and again same adjacent and you have to do l prime u2 l u y prime r2 u r u prime r2 then a u f and that's it so again what it would look like is you do a u and then l prime u2 l to get this pair in the back and then u and it's the same thing um actually so again l prime u2 l u gets that pair in the back now r2 u r gets that like paired up and then u from r2 gets it back in so it's just a mirror of the other case so don't worry it's not hard to learn at all next case it's fairly easy to memorize it looks like this these two are adjacent and these two are opposite you just have to do a u2 so that it's adjacent opposite in the back and you do r u2 r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u prime r prime so what is that well that algorithm is very similar to this case on three by three which you probably do know um you might use the f sex to move three times f prime but you might use this case r u2 r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u prime r prime and that's very similar you just do the u2 again and you do r u2 r prime and that gets that in the back u prime now you do sexy move twice one two one two and then just insert the pair so again it would be like this like that so the final case you might know from ol on three by three if you know full ol if you don't you might know this case because it's very easy it is this ol on three by three where you you know, I'm not gonna explain how to recognize it. It's just R, U2, R2. Okay, yeah. Now we'll go through the actual thing, what it is. Um, you recognize opposite same, and you do no AUF, R, U2, R prime, then R prime again. So it's really just R2. R, U2, R2, F, R, F prime, R, U2, R prime. So that all is very easy to memorize if you don't know it. It's just R, U2, R prime, and then sledgehammer. But since they kind of cut into each other, it would be R U two R two F R F I, but whatever you want to think of it. So R U two R two, but kind of R U two R prime then sledgehammer, and then you do R U two R prime again, and then you just do U F. So that does it for our L cases. I will do the next case by viewer request. So you comment below and tell me which cases you want to learn next, and I'll make the video within a day um well if you do it today that is because you know i'm probably not it's hard to make it on school days but yeah that's it have a nice day and i hope you are going to learn full cll by april like late april